so today we're going to be recording drums with the awesome Miguel Andrews for our track. Um, before we head down to Weston to do the recording, I'm going to prepare a few things back here in my studio before I go. Um, now on location I record with a laptop and it hasn't got the, the most processing power on my MacBook Air so we're just going to create a bounce down of our session here. Uh, we're going to open it up in a new Logic session, uh, record the drums and then I'm going to bring the stems from that session back into our project here. So to do that, first thing we're going to do is select the entire session using this region selection along the top. So you can click and drag this bar along the top. Um, and then if you come to either end, you can drag it out to the full length. So we're going to go from the very beginning all the way right to the end. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to do two different versions. I'm going to do one with drums and percussion, one without drums and percussion. And then I'm going to see whichever one works best with the drummer's perspective because you never know you might come up with something that's way cooler than uh, what we got here or it might clash or complement we want to have options so the first one I'm going to do is with everything let's just have a quick listen so you can hear our percussion a bit of kick drum a few claps and things we're going to leave those in for this bounce the shortcut to bounce um, your track out is Command and B. Uh, we've got our a few parts of guitar that we recorded down here, but I haven't sorted those out yet, so we're just going to keep them muted. Uh, we're just going to head on over there with the structure and the MIDI. So to bounce out, Command B. We're going to bounce this out as a 16-bit WAV file at 44.1. doesn't matter too much at this stage what the uh, quality is because we're literally using it as a as a backing track, as a guiding track to record the drums. Um, it's not going to be the final the final version. So once we're happy with that, we click bounce. Uh, I'm going to save this to the desktop for now and we're going to call it May Track um, with Percussion. Okay, and then we're going to hit bounce. And Logic's going to do his thing. I'll be back when this is bounced. Right, so here we are on the desktop where I saved my file. We're just going to check that this plays from the beginning uh, by pressing the spacebar. Let's have a listen. So let's head over back to Logic, and this time we're going to do a version without any drums and percussion at all. So all my drums and percussion in this session are coming from Stylus RMX. So simply, I'm just going to hit mute, and that's going to mute all eight channels um, of Stylus, which we've got down here. Let's have a listen to that. <laughs> clap in there but that's not going to do too much damage we'll leave that one in there and then it's literally the same thing now the high the highlighted region that I used earlier is still along the top here all I've got to do is click once to get it back but again if you want to create it again it's quite simple just slide across the top get each end to where we need it and then again exactly the same thing command and B we're going to stick with the same sentence as we had last time Click bounce, and this time I will call it May Track without percussion. All right, so we're over in on my desktop, and we've got both tracks. We're just going to double check that the without percussion version is working. <laughs> And we're going to call this May Track, as it's May, and this is our track for May. Um, and I want to put in the properties of 
our session so that we can line up the same tempo. Now it's quite simple. All I'm going to do is go back to Logic, just check our tempo, which is 120 BPM, and go back to Finder. Oh, if we just hide Logic, and then we're going to call this 120 BPM. Cool. And we're going to put our two files in there. Cool, and then all we're going to do is head on down to the studio later on. I'll put this one on my laptop, open it up, and then we'll go from there and drag it into a new session. See you later. Cheers.